we're going to create a personal budget from scratch in Excel so you know how much you're saving in a 12 month period. And we're going to go step by step and keep it super simple. So let's get started right now. Here we have a blank spreadsheet and we want this budget to cover all 12 months in a year. So here in C4, I'm going to type Jan for the month of January and press tab. And then I'm going to highlight January and I'm going to left click on this green square in the lower right hand corner of the cell. Then I'm going to drag that across. And you can see that Excel recognizes this as a month and populates the subsequent months accordingly. So I'm going to drag this all the way out until I see December and then release my mouse. Now we're going to start filling in earnings and expenses. So I'm just going to type here in cell B7. I'm going to type total earnings and press enter. And then a couple cells down, I'm going to type total expenses and press enter. And then below that, I'm going to type total amount saved. And so moving up here to the earnings section, the first earnings is salary. And this individual makes $60,000 per year but only takes home about 70% of that after taxes, healthcare, and 401k contribution. So for earnings, I'm going to do a simple calculation. I'm gonna press equal sign. I'm gonna type $60,000 for that annual salary. I'm gonna multiply that by 0.7 for 70% of that annual salary. Actually comes as cash to this individual's bank account. And then I'm going to divide that number by 12. And if I remember my elementary school math pretty well, this formula requires no parentheses. And so I'm going to press enter. Then I'm going to click on this cell, click on the green square in the lower right hand corner and drag that across to all the months. Moving on, this person gets a bonus and it's a 10% bonus and it happens in March. And just like salary, only 70% of that amount will actually hit the individual's bank account after taxes, healthcare, and 401k. So I'm gonna type the plus sign. It does the same thing as an equal sign and it's a lot easier and lets you work a lot quicker. I'm gonna type $60,000 and multiply that by 0.1 for the 10% bonus and then by 0.7 for the take home pay percentage and press enter. And since this is a one time cash flow, I don't need to do any further calculations. And so now let's start filling in the expenses. I'm going to type the word rent. I'm going to press the tab key and then I'm going to enter the amount, which is $1,500. And then when I press enter, it takes me back to the expense column on the next line. And this makes it really easy for data entry. Next are groceries, and again, tab key, and those are $1,000 a month, and then enter takes me back to the right column on the next row. Auto insurance and maintenance is $100 a month. Phone plan is $50 a month. Gym is another $50. And of course, having fun is $250 a month. And now I'm gonna highlight these expenses with a left click of my mouse, click on this green box in the lower right hand corner and drag that across to the remaining months. And lastly, some of the categories here in column B exceed the column widths. So I'm gonna take my mouse, I'm gonna put it between B and C and when I see this black divider line, I'm gonna double click to auto fit the width to the contents of the cells. And if you're enjoying this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps my channel out. And even better, leave a comment and let me know what else are you gonna add to your personal budget spreadsheet. Now we're gonna calculate totals. Before doing so, I don't like this extra space here. So I'm gonna click on the row number, right click and delete that extra row. So for earnings, I'm gonna type equal sign, and the word sum, and then an open parentheses. And then I'm gonna highlight these two earning rows with my mouse, close parentheses, and press enter. And then I'm gonna drag that formula all the way through December. Moving down to expenses, another way to enter a sum formula quickly is to press Alt-Enter to auto-sum the cells. 
and then you just need to press enter. And I'll drag that all the way to the right as well. And then for total amount saved, you're just gonna press equal sign and select total earnings and then the subtraction sign and the total expenses. And we'll drag that all the way to the right as well. And we can see that this individual is saving about $550 a month. So let's jump over here to column O and enter a total column to figure out what that equates to in a year. And Alt-Enter works here as well, summing cells horizontally. And I will drag that down all the way to total amount saved. And we can see here that this budget equates to $10,800 saved per year. And the last thing we're gonna do is format this because right now it's pretty plain. So I'm gonna give it a title and I'm gonna call it personal budget. And then I'll jump up here to home and press this thick B to make it bold. With this big A with an up arrow sign, I'll press that once to increase the font size. And then I'm gonna highlight the cells that traverse the budget Click here on this arrow and select thick bottom border. And now to make the total stand out, I'm gonna highlight total earnings and then I'm gonna press the control key which lets me highlight disparate cells in the spreadsheet. And another way to bold cells is control B to make them stand out. And then I'm just gonna highlight the total amount saved and I'll increase that font size as well because that's really the most important metric on the spreadsheet. And then I'm gonna highlight the row above total earnings and give that a bottom border and do the same for total expenses. And for total amount saved, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna give that a double bottom border. And lastly, I'm gonna highlight all of these cells, go up here in the ribbon, click this down arrow and select currency. And then I'm gonna click this button to decrease the decimal points so there's no decimal points showing. And now this looks pretty good and it's a lot easier to read with the formatting. So thank you for tuning in. Press thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments, what else can I help you with in Excel? If you're new to Excel and you're tired of working slowly, you might wanna check out my video on shortcut keys and how to get faster in Excel. I'll link to it in the description and on the screen. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.